Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the Claude Agents SDK. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how with a single tool, you can now create something that I spent three to six months creating a year ago. And I'm going to show you just how quickly and easily you can create that with one single tool and the Claude Agents SDK. Now look at how good the content at the end of this will be. You no longer need to create entire systems. You can let Claude code or Claude agents do the heavy lifting. If you think of the Claude agents SDK as a way to have Claude code in the Claude API, then you might start to see the advantage of this. Imagine that instead of selling a wrapper around a few prompts, right? You're now selling an interactive ag agentic system that is just Claude code but doing what you want it to do. I don't know who has ever used Claude code to find leads or to do something other than coding, but it's actually a thousand times more intelligent than Claude.ai, for example. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm very passionate about this topic. Let me just explain something to you. Harbor, which is, and also Grove, they are both SaaSes that I've created. They took me, you know, three to six months each. Grove was a bit shorter because we're getting faster at these things. And what they are is a series of prompts where prompt one feeds into prompt two. And then, for example, prompt three sends for some reason to prompt six, and then that sends to prompt four. And then it all just becomes a very confusing mess. And then wrapped around that are also, I think, 2000 plus lines of code, right? To do programmatic things between each prompt. This is how I had to build Harbor. What I'm going to show you is you can now build basically the same thing in 10 minutes with one single tool and the Claude Agent SDK. So let's hop into it. Now, just so you know, guys, I'm having a couple of problems with OBS right now. It keeps pausing. So if you're wondering why I keep looking down here uh, with my eyes, I'm just looking to see if OBS is recording. So what is the Claude Agent SDK? Now, just before I get into that, guys, there is a link in the description of this video. If you want to have an MVP of an AI, preferably powered product, built by me, literally by me, not by my team, but me, the brain will be built by me using the Claude Agents SDK. Get in touch with us now. In my opinion, this is a huge opportunity to make something that is more intelligent than the current, currently offered AI projects on the market. Most AI companies, and I can tell you this with some confidence, are using just APIs, right? They're not using the Claude Agent SDK. Someone like Manus and other massive companies, Droid, all of those companies, in my opinion, I'm not sure about this, I know Manus for a fact will be, are using the Claude Agent or what used to be the Claude Code SDK. So if you want to build something that's a little bit more intelligent than the competitors, get in touch with us now. There's a link in the description of this video and just go to the free dev discovery call, book a call with us. We can make it for cheaper and faster than most companies because we're obviously augmented by AI. So the Claude Agent SDK, what actually is it? So it supports, the main thing it supports is reusing the same session. What does that mean? When you have a conversation with ChatGPT or Claude.ai on the front end on their browser, so ChatGPT.com or whatever, you, you will notice that you're having the same conversation. You say hello at the top, it says hello. You say, how are you? It says, I'm good, how are you? It's a continuous conversation. This was not previously possible with Claude until they released the Claude Code SDK, which actually allowed you to have a thread ID so Claude knows that the conversation is being continued. This is the main change, but also we have custom tools, continue chat, hooks, and interrupts, meaning that we can put things in place to make sure that what we're creating is truly agentic and truly intelligent instead of being a static API workflow like Harbor and to a, to a lesser extent Grove actually. Grove is agentic, but not it's not using the agents SDK in this case, it's using something else. So all you have to do, right, is Google Claude Agents SDK, click here, choose between Python and TypeScript. I would recommend Python if you're just jumping in and you just want to get started. TypeScript, a little bit more complicated. Just stick with Python, guys. And then all you do is press copy page. That's literally it, right? And then the only other thing I'm going to do to rebuild the entirety of Harbor in kind of 10 minutes is I'm just going to go to Gina.ai, 
I'm going to go to API and I'm just going to have this ready for my prompting. So I'm just going to go to the terminal here. Let's just do cd dot dot and then we'll do mkdir. I'm making a vid lol cd. I'm making a vid lol and then we'll do Claude. We'll do dash dash dangerously skip permissions. I'm going to say use a dot m file for my API keys. Um, and then I'm just gonna, I'm on, I'm, 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 sorry, I'm actually going to use Haiku 4.5 for this. Sometimes my brain is faster than my mouth, so it's hard to get what I'm trying to say out. Um, what I'm going to say is please use the following Claude code SDK, sorry, Claude agent SDK to make me a Python script using the intelligence of Claude code and one single custom tool, Gina curled, in order to make me a system that can take the input of any website, um, find relevant images, uh, oh, sorry, take the input of any website plus a keyword, then find relevant products uh, or pages on the website that you were given using r.gina or s.gina. s.gina does a search on Google for the site. r.gina scrapes individual pages. You will need to use that to act like a Google crawler to find relevant pages. Find enough relevant content, then write a detailed HTML article with custom SVGs, uh, images, pricing, product boxes, and any other interesting HTML pieces that you can think of. And then literally, I'm just gonna give it the uh, SDK, so the Claude Agent SDK, and then, so that's what that is, that paste there, and then I'm just gonna give it the r.gina and the s.gina, now, I've never done this, just so you know. I have worked with Claude, Claude Agents SDK. The first time was yesterday. Um, and I have built something pretty fucking interesting with it, to be honest with you. But now I'm going to see if we can build something super fast, super quick. I haven't really paused this recording yet. So we're only seven minutes into this recording. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to be done pretty quickly. So. So look, I help you create a Python script using the Claude Agent SDK web scrapes with Gina AI and generates detailed HTML articles. First, let me warn you, you've shared your, it's fine, don't worry about it. I'm really getting sick of being warned about API keys. It's kind of annoying, to be honest with you. Import necessary libraries, load environment variables, create a custom Gina kill tool, use Claude, and Claude SDK client to orchestrate, take website URL plus keyword input, search and scrape, generate HTML with Claude, beautiful. Uh, that cannot be done. That cannot be real. Yeah, look, at tool, Gina curl. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That looks, that, I mean, that, that cannot be, that, it can't be that easy. Like, it's literally over if it's that easy. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I might just say, like, uh, quickly make a, um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript dashboard, but we'll see. I need a way to test this as well. But honestly, guys, this is what I'm talking about. It could be this easy. If it's this easy, then, you know, what the fuck are we even doing? Harbor took me months and months and months to work, to create, so, you know. Let me create an example. It shows how to use it. Just create a real script to test. Maybe CLI in the terminal. Make sure everything's being printed so we can see the output. Okay, and then I'll just grab a uh, Anthropic API key real quick. I'm not going to show this because um, we are getting caned on the... <laughs> we spend hundreds of dollars on Anthropic, so... Okay, guys, so just so you know, if you're using Haiku for something like this, please be extremely careful and make sure you're actually reading what it's doing. It just tried to do a load of shit. You can see here, no update my Python version. Stop pissing around. It tried to create a completely new script, which is obviously not what I wanted whatsoever. So it now seems to actually be running. Uh, so it says enter website URL here. Okay, so we should be able to run this ourselves now. Okay, so let's just see how this works. So 
I'm just running out my uh, Visual Studio code. I haven't done any editing, literally. This is just straight out of the box. High Q 4.5. I haven't, I'm not, I'm not lying about anything here. Like I'm not hiding anything. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you can see just at the very beginning how it's like, it's, it's more like having a Claude code conversation to get a task done instead of kind of the other side of this where when you send all of this prompts and stuff to the API, it always gets confused very, very quickly. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It does seem to actually be working here. Perfect, found excellent results for best suits for men on two men website. Here are the top five most relevant URLs. So obviously there's a slight issue here because this has gone for um, a blog, which I wouldn't actually want it to do, uh, but that's fine. It's not a big issue. It, it's got the job done according to the tools I gave it. The way that I would now improve this is I would say, please make sure to avoid blogs, right? So you iterate on the process. Now, also another really cool thing is that it's automatically, and I talked about this yesterday on my school community coffee hour, every hour, every Thursday, 6 p.m. Irish time, we do an hour call with me. You can ask me any questions you want, et cetera, et cetera. So join the school community if you're interested in that. But I was explaining how JSON scraping works and how Claude generally enjoys to use JSON scraping itself without me specifically telling to, right? So now you can see already within 10, 15 minutes, I have replaced a SAS that took me three months to make, okay? Absolutely ridiculous stuff, guys. Is this going to be the best output ever? Probably not. Do you need to iterate on this? Probably. But the base level of intelligence for very quick AI applications has just gone through the fucking roof. This should have taken me hours, okay? Before the Claude Agents SDK, this would have taken me hours because you have, when you're coding in the API, you don't have that level of intelligence and Claude doesn't have all of these different tools available to it, like writing code or, you know, in this case, using Gina to find things or just generally just thinking more about things. Having access to the internet would be very, very easy as well. All of these different things that are just so much easier with the Claude Agents SDK. Now, literally, you just press copy page, put it there, fucking prompt this big, and I've replaced Harbor, which took me months to make. Now, think of it like this. You could have this running all day, every day, achieving a goal that you need it to achieve. You have to think of that goal. I can't think of that goal for you. Take these building blocks, use Haiku 4.5 as the model, because it's cheap as fuck, and go and achieve what it is you need this to achieve. Now you can see this is taking a little bit, of, a little bit of time here. I'm not sure what this is. This looks like a completely fake article. Yeah, this is a fake article. That's fine. So it's still generating a, an HTML article. It's taking, it's taking a sweet time with it, but I don't necessarily mind that as long as the output in the end is extremely good. You can now have fully automated API conversations with human loop if you wanted with what is effectively Claude code in the API. Shit is getting real, real fast, guys. There it is. Let's have a look. If this is good, if this is even decent, guys, think about this. This took me months and months and months to get to even anywhere close to this, right? Oh, wow, it's actually very, very good. It's incredibly good. Now, I would change a few things, iterate, it's not finding images, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There are problems here, but these are very easily iterated upon. All you would have to say is, look, there are no images in this. Can you just fix why there are no images? I don't need a header, you know, all this stuff. Very quick, very easy to fix. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. This is extremely exciting times. Check out the school community and also check out the call if you're interested in having an MVP powered by the Claude Agents SDK built for you and your business. Even if it's just to automate something, if you don't want to make a SaaS, if you want to do something specific that you can't work out how to do online, contact us. Let's get these things built. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Have a great Halloween, guys, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.